Hello, hello, everybody. It is Thursday, and it is time for my live on Facebook. And um, you will see it here on YouTube as well. Uh, independent demonstrator with Stampin' Up! And um, I have the uh, welcome in, <laughs> the welcome in paper pumpkin. And we are going to coordinate it with the countryside corners. I'm going to talk a little bit about that and how these two coordinate. So I'm looking forward to doing that. So let's go ahead and uh, get on live and it'll just take a second. Hello, hello, everybody. I am here just getting things organized. And here we are. Finally, I got here. It's been about, I think it's been about two weeks. I think so. Um, some of you uh, might know, but I had some surgery and um, it's taken a little uh, bit of effort to do things. And so finally today, I'm able to do this at this time. So I'm really happy to be with you. And what we're going to do tonight is we're going to do an alternative on the paper pumpkin. And so um, the new paper pumpkin is called Welcome In. This is the new one that just came. You, can, you, um, uh, you won't know if you can get more of this or not by the 25th usually of the month. Um, and then you'll either see that the kit will be available or that the paper products will be available. So that would exclude your um, stamp and spot and your um, stamp set. And this time the stamp and spot is Knight of Navy. I have a few Knight of Navies. So I'm going to use an older one, and this is probably a gift for somebody uh, in the future. And I wanted to coordinate this with the countryside corners. I wanted to show you a little bit about the countryside corners so that you could see everything and how it works. Okay. First of all, um, let me go quickly through the countryside corners just so that you can see some of the parts of it. Um, this is the stamp. I want to make sure everybody knows it is one stamp. It's one big stamp. And then here is the beautiful countryside corner die. And this is a this is a little daisy. And I mean, not die. This is the countryside corner embossing folder. It's a lovely embossing folder. And uh, its design is the design that one of the cards of the paper pumpkin kit are in. So that's really nice. And then the countryside corners designer paper is absolutely gorgeous. And here is that country. It's called countryside uh, in and that's countryside corners bundle and that bundle incl includes that um, embossing folder here it is here's the design and it includes the dies and here are those dies that we're going to be using and that I'm going to be showing you how they work all right so there's that and that and then this came with that suite. And so the paper, I've shown you the paper before. Uh, the birds are beautiful. This is beautiful. The other side is then your darker side. It has, um, it also has, I'm gonna show you a specific one here. I think I have still a lot of the birds, thank goodness. Here are the fox. This is great, this paper is one of the sheets, uh, one of the cards of the country, um, of the country in, welcome in, sorry, the welcome in. And so this is one of the uh, note cards in that pack, all right? And so that's that one and that one. 
Let's see what else I have. I don't have many of these anymore because I use them all. This one, I think that's about it. And that is that back. So yeah, that's about it. That's all I have left pretty much. I think I have this left right here. Let's see what's here. Yes, I have this. This is it. This is that embossing folder. That's what that embossing folder is. And that's what you're going to see with that welcome in paper pumpkin. And then there is this. I love this side. That side was also very, very gorgeous. So that was the paper. That's just a quick glance because I've shown you this paper, I think, a bunch of times now. And I really like it. And so um, since it's still 15% off, um, I thought you would look at it and check it out. All right. So, and so here are the dies, and there are um, seven dies, and they go in um, they go in order from large to small. At first, I thought, oh, I'm not going to get this, and because I have other, you know, nesting dies of all sorts. But actually, th this this set of nesting dies are really nice. They work really well. They are different from the others. And I think or hope that you have seen some of the cards that have come out with um, these uh, dies. They use this big one to make a, a card. You can make a full card. It's fairly easy to do. And if we have extra time, I will show you that as well. I don't want to take up too much of your time today, but I wanted to show you that. And let me show you how this all works. So what I decided to do is we know it, the blue color. This is one of the cards. And here is that stamp set. Maybe this is better. This is better right here. This little thing represents the stem for the little flower, the pot, the flowers, uh, the sayings. And one saying is a uh, friend. The other saying is uh, welcome. Another saying is, so welcome, friend. You're invited. That's right. And thank you for your hospitality. So they're nice little um, kind of greeting, really, I was going to say greeting cards. Of course they're greeting cards, but just like someone new to the neighborhood or new to your friendship or new if you're a demonstrator, right? So that's kind of cool. And so here are the three cards that you can make. That's what they are, just so that you can see that. Try to get out of that shadow. There you go. There they are. And so um, that is the kit. So you can see all the pieces that way. If you haven't seen them yet, so just put it up close. There's a bunch of stuff in here, which is quite great. Um, so I'm going to put that to the side because that's what we're going to be working with. But you have one of these cards. But I want to continue with the concept first of these dies and how these dies work and then how they set up this set, all right, which is really, really cute. I hope I can get all those little pieces, but I did want to show you this first. Okay, so we saw the stamp set. We saw the ink. I am still working off of that um, bundle, the countryside corners. So that stamp, okay, that you saw right here makes this impression. And then the dies, okay, go ahead and cut out these different sized pieces, right? You get that one, that one, that one, and that one. And then there's a tiny little one. Let's see if I still have him around. Let's see, let's see, there he is. We're not gonna lose him. Kept him in the bag, which is a smart move on my part. So here, it's here. 
It's right here in the corner. Come on, come on, come on. Yay. There's that one. Isn't that sweet? All right. So those are the different dyes. Now, what happens, which is really cool, is because of how the dyes are set up, you can cut out two at a time. You can cut out, you see, you can cut out any way you like to cut out these pieces. You see? All right, so I cut. So first I just cut, I can cut, let's look at this way. I can cut just that, just that piece out using two of the consecutive size dies, or I can jump a notch and then I can get this, all right? Once I get this, I am left with this. I can simply cut out that center and leave these two if I want. I can go ahead and just use two consecutive dies to cut out this rim. I can leave this, all right? Or I could simply cut that out and just have that piece and they'll show you that in the kit, all right? So these are the different ways that these cut out, right? And um, you can do different things with them as you see. All right, so these dies can be a lot of fun and multi-purpose and can work real well. And so what they did for this kit, and we're gonna now focus more on the kit, what they did with this kit is they used some of these great concepts. So I can cut these out individually, each one of these individually, if I so please, by using two consecutive sizes, okay? So that's that. Now, the kit, let's look at what they did and how they mimicked this kit. You also get, um, before going there, we also get the strips of dimensionals because of the, of the flowers and things like that. They used strips this time. You use tear and tape, which is always a wonderful thing. You have glue and you have um, little dots. I hope I can find my dots because you did get little matte dark blue, navy blue matte. Uh, dots. We'll see if I can find them. Sometimes they get lost in the in the shuffle. We'll see. All right. So you get three of these. This is the this is the design with the fox. You saw it in the paper, and here it is. You get three cards of each. You get three of these. Lovely, and that is that embossing folder, and then you get the navy. All right, for the card that we're going to make today, we are going to go ahead and use a navy and partially one of these, all right? I did not find my dots, unfortunately. They must be somewhere. They will turn up, but I will show you. It's just a little set of dots here, right there are gonna be your little matte Knight of Navy dots, which are gonna be just perfect. All right. Um, I've been doing a lot of different things because I'm having a class on Sunday, so things got probably shuffled. All right, you get one of these. Now let's look at this. This is exactly like the stamp set and I, I think I'm gonna try, I hope that light is better. Maybe that'll be better. Not really, not really. Yeah, there you go, there you go. So you can see that that's one of uh, the pieces of that stamp set and die set cutting that out. Isn't that delightful? So they really used that set. And so these are some of, they only have one sheet of these. So you have that. Then you have three sheets of these 
And what's so cool about this, this little hello friend, I'm using it. They even have that um, already stamped out for you. And what they also have is they have this large rim, which again is from that stamp set and you're gonna cut that out, see? That's gonna come off and go right on top of here on this piece with the flower. So that's really cool. And that's why you need those strips is because you're gonna pop that up over that. So it comes up and this is then sunken. It's really, really nice. And then you have three pots to go ahead and stamp. All right, so you have three of those sheets. And for my one card, I'm using one of those. I did not use any of these because I have the set so I can do what I like. Here's another one, looky there. See how nice that is? Isn't that great? So again, from the set, and you have two sheets of these and two sheets, three sheets of these again all from that die, that that um, bundle, all from that bundle. So I thought that was very clever. I thought that was really nice. And it allows you then to carry on the card, the paper pumpkin uh, concept into your cards. All right. Just gonna put that away so it doesn't get hurt. Here are our beautiful envelopes. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. Oh yeah, you, the insides are plain. That is boho blue, definitely, and Knight of Navy is on here. Very beautiful. So these are the two cards we're going to use for our project. We used the stamp set. We used the Knight of Navy ink. Oh, they're my dots. I knew my dots would show up. There they are, nice, cute little dots. All right, so we're gonna talk about that and that. Put that there, I'll put this over here. There we go. I'm gonna go here and here. I might take this and just uh, not to get dizzy, sorry. Just gonna bring that a little bit further down so that works out. Okie dokie. Hope everybody's doing okay. So here are those items. That's wonderful. Okay. I also used an envelope. And so um, we'll talk a little bit about this. The style of card is not going to be unfamiliar to you. It is this style of little fancy fold, okay? It is this style. I love using the uh, paper pumpkins to do this style because they're usually handy and it just does a little bit of a, uh, uh, a step up uh, very easily and allows you then to use that entire card. Um, I did this last year. I did a video on this set, and this set is still available uh, as a refill paper pumpkin kit, okay, an entire kit. So you can get this kit still, uh, which is the sailboat. I mean, the boat, the ship is gorgeous. Okay, so um, what you can do if you have the stamp set, if you don't, you can use your kit, but if you have the stamp set, um, the Countryside Corners um, countryside corners stamp set, you can simply, simply stamp this on your white, all right, and then cut out pieces of it, and I will show you that, all right? And so what I did is I took the blue cardstock, and I cut off the front of that blue cardstock. And I cut off exactly three inches. All right. Leaving then an inch and a quarter. All right. Then what I did, I went ahead and from that piece, that um, three inch piece, I cut two half inch strips off of that and stamped it, so cute, and stamped them with the flowers. 
So that is the other side. That's the blue side. So that was part of that. So cutting off that front piece. This is all that's left out of that three inches. <laughs> I, I used everything possible. So the rest of that card was used up to make this card, which is perfect. All right, the other thing I did, oh, and you all know, just before we go, because I said I used the envelope, um, you all know just to cut a sliver off, use your machine and just go on the side and just cut a sliver off. And then you have beautiful, beautiful paper to use. All right, then what I did is, and you, you could stamp it or you could just simply die cut it out. All right, and um, I went ahead and um, die cut out from the boho blue. You can die cut out this piece. Now I used my own cardstock because I have so much, but you can use this and you can cut it out with the dies. All right. And if you have the stamp set, I literally cut this off by hand if you don't have the dies. So, you know, there's different ways. So basically you could stamp it, all right, and then cut the size you want and just turn it around and use the other side, right, to have the flat side. So you can still just have the stamp without the dies. You can stamp this on here. And then um, if you want the white part, you'd stamp it on the blue part. Then you would cut out what piece you want out of it and then go to the back side and it would be white on this one again you would stamp it now on the white part and cut out exactly the size you want on the blue am i making sense i hope so so basically you just want to stamp on the opposite side so you can cut it out so you can get a blank all right and these two are going to go together so you don't have to have the dies because you can cut this out by hand and by stamping and using the back side of the piece. I mean, it's very, very simple. All right. So now what we're going to do is we did use a second card and we cut off. This is the beautiful card and we cut off four inches. So I will get two fronts from this for every one of these. I can get two fronts, all right? So then, so there's that piece. So then what I do is um, I did cut out, well, actually I punched out the piece here that they gave me, the piece here that they gave me and I can use that side, or I stamped it and put the welcome. This is basically that same si size as that smallest piece in this die set. You see, it all it all works out so cute, so so cute. All right, just making sure you can see. All right, so um, but you can cut all of this out by hand if you just have the stamp set, but you have to love to cut. <laughs> okay, so then I did the strips. Well, then what I did is I stamped the pot and they do have a die set for the pot um, that is on sale at $6 for the pot and to cut out the die cut, the flower. I went ahead and just fussy cut them out. I stamped three of the flowers from the stamp set and cut those out by hand and then cut out the pot by hand. And I went ahead and stamped the flowers and then die cut them out. If you watched my videos, you know how I do. Just look at a previous video of me talking about how to fussy cut. I again, simply go around and then I go in, keep it round, keep moving the paper as you cut, you move the paper, not the scissors, and you kind of make it wavy and round, and it always seems to work, all right? So um, this um, is what my plan was. So this is four by five and a half. It stays at the five and a half. And then all I'm going to do is glue this down. And so I stamped 
this again, as you can see, I stamped all of this on the back side of that three three inch three and a yeah three inch piece. See, all of those are just like that, so it works very well. And this is really a very very easy card once you get it down. Of course, you want to go ahead and make sure that it's to the corner. I don't know what my hands are kind of slippery. Okay. You want to get it, yeah, just like that. That's going to be very nice. Just like that. It's a very, very simple, quick card. Now, I decided on that one, I was going to do this. Yes, something like this. And then on this side, at first I was going to do this, but then I decided, no, I was going to go ahead and do the darker. So basically all I'm going to do is butt this up, that strip, that strip is a half an inch, and I'm gonna decide which one I prefer to use. I think I'm going to use, it makes a difference to me, that's funny. I think I will use this one. And all you're gonna do is take that strip and then put that down there. And again, that strip is a half an inch by five and a half inches. So it's as long as the card is. Put that there. Once that's there, that's fine. And I'm gonna take this strip and I'm not gonna leave any edge here. Just such an easy card, but it really is pretty. Sometimes you can leave more than a, an inch and a quarter off the front. So if you decide to leave more than an inch and a quarter, you would deviate from three inches. So I just put it in the machine and take off three inches from the front of the card. So there we go. Look how pretty that is. And then what we're going to do is we're going to, now it doesn't matter, again, you can stamp what I would do. And in this one, especially because of this, it doesn't matter what side, but you can stamp this and then you cut it out by hand, all right? And then all I'm going to do is I am going to glue this part down. And it would be great to have that die set because there are so many things that you're gonna be seeing with that die set. It really is a nice die set. And then we're going to build our C and then you just center that right there. And again, what I would do if I don't have just, if I don't have the dies, I don't have the dies, I'll take my stamp and I will stamp it on the white side, which will go right here because it's the smaller one. The larger one will go here. The smaller one will go here. And I will go ahead and stamp it on the white side, then cut it to the size that I want. All right. So all I did is I started cutting here and here so that I would see just this so I can cut this off, just this part off, just the dotted line off. That's all I had to do. And um, you can use your dies or your hand. Now, I think what I will do, of course, is I would use dimensionals here. I might use their pieces. But first, let's see if we aren't going to use some dimensionals on this. Now, you can use their pieces. They like to use those strips. Um, because these are long and that's great. But I am going to go ahead and use this instead because sometimes the strips are really important and are very handy for many things. And so you, I will wait for more of a time. So what I'm gonna do here 
is I did put that down. I want that right here. I know I need that right there. And I'm going to need that right underneath. So I'm going to put some glue on this. This is not going to go on dimensionals because it's going to go underneath. And I know I want that about here in the center, right there. And then that's going to go right on top. I might even push it up a little bit more. Yeah, like that. Now that is wider, as you can see. That is wider. I'm still going to push that up a little bit more. Yeah, that's going to go pretty much to the very, very top, as you can see. And I'm going to take this and go quite low. I am not going to worry about that overhang because you're going to see why in just a second. Because right here is where my little flowers are going to go, which are going to cover that up, as you'll see right here. Okay, just like that. Isn't that the cutest? And so with this, all I'm going to do is with these flowers, I'm going to take this flower. I think I'm going to, I thought I put him underneath. That flower is going to go, no, I think I'll put him on top. Actually, I should have used a dimensional on that one. Yep, I'm going to use a dimensional. That'll be just fine. I'm going to put the dimensional on that side. Hope you can see this. Put the dimensional on this side. That's just going to go here, and then that's going to go there. Okay, just like that. There you go. Just like that. Yes. And then here, I'm going to put that one right about there. So just like that. And him, I can simply glue on there. And then this one, I also want a dimensional on this one. I want that to pop up. I'm using my mini dimensionals for this. There you go. And I'm just going to put that right about here, just like that. Then I'm going to then go ahead. And I really could simply, since this is all popping up here, these are popping up. And so I can go ahead and I just don't feel like I have to pop that up for me. That's just me. You can go ahead and pop that up. I don't think everything needs to be popped up. That's going to fit right in there. Centrally located right there. Perfect. See how that's working out now? I like the pop of color. What do you think? I just like the little pop of color. I did go ahead and blue the edges on that one. If you look at that, you can see that I blue. And all I did was simply I took this open this up and I just do this and this and this. That's all I did. I go around and do that. I don't want to get any ink anywhere. So I'm going to go ahead now. That should be dry. I could do just the welcome. That keeps it very subdued. I put the welcome in the stems. You can see that I put the welcome and the stems there, which is just as fine, which is just as fine. See, there's stem, stem, that kind of coincides and that's kind of cute like that. 
And then we can go like that as well. I mean, I love all the, I love the fact that you can have it all in blue and white and that it does do this. And I think it's perfect. And so you can do that or you can give it a pop of color. I feel that if you gave it a pop of color, you might want to put some gems that would be of that same color. I'm just afraid that to do that and not have that color anywhere else is just kind of like, why? <laughs> but I did want to show you. And if you have the Calypso Coral uh, color pencil, uh, that would be perfect in there. And you could do the centers maybe, or maybe you have a Calypso Coral um, uh, blend and you can take maybe some pearls and if you have a calypso coral pen let's see where it is i think that this might be it no that's not it let me get let me see if i can find my calypso coral pen Yes, here it is. It's taking a second. And again, right here, the fun part about this, which can easily be done. Now th this can be any, any clear, any, um, any gem, that you might have that is lighter than um, the color that you're going to use, of course. But that's what I love about getting the little pearls that they typically sell. This, these were gifted to me, but, uh, and then if you just do something like this, it should be already dry so something like that and like that but of course you can do it in the blue and white very easily because you have the blue dots that they gave you so you could use the blue which would be just grand but for some reason I just wanted a little Calypso Coral in there. Just wanted that little pop of color. And that I think, oh, started to rain again. It's raining here every day. The East Coast is like raining like nobody's business. Of course I'm South, but still. I hear that it's raining northeast as well. These, of course, these dots are not as uh, good as stamping up dots, I'll tell you that much. <laughs> but they're still very nice. And so you see now with that, that little hello works so well. Isn't that cute? So let's go ahead and I am going to show you how those, let's see if they're short enough. Yeah, I think there is a short enough one, so we'll use it. So here are those strips, those dimensional strips that are so wonderful. See, oh, there's a bunch here. Look at that. That's one. Oh, and there's those luscious little beauties over there. Oh, there's no blue dots. So we decided against the welcome and went, the welcome, and went with our hello friend. There you go. There's that card. 
Okay, so this uses an entire blue card that is in the kit. Half of the um, of the other card of this one, this floral one, and it you use the back of the blue card to stamp all of these on there and cut them out by hand if you like. Or of course, if you have the dies, that's even better for the flowers and the pot. But this flower you would have to cut by hand. Then I use the Hello Friend. You can use the envelope to get your boho blue and to go ahead and um, get your white background using that countryside in um, stamp set, which is really handy. And you don't have to buy the dies, although I think the dies are well worth it, but you can go ahead and freehand cut all those borders, all those luscious borders. All right, so very simple, very much done. That's all it took, okay? And uh, you have a lovely card, okay? So that was my card for today. And um, I hope you um, liked it and that um, you enjoyed this video. Please like, please subscribe. If you're watching me on YouTube, hit that bell and get notified. Also, if you are on my Facebook page, follow me so you can see these videos. I hope to be back on a regular schedule. Um, and. Uh, no more maybe serious things happening in our household. And let's see what else. Hearts, don't forget, comment what you think of this cute card from this uh, country welcome in paper pumpkin. All right, everybody, have a great night and I'll see you next week.